March 6th and 7th, Friday and Saturday, the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Leo and there's a full moon coming. Energy is building and you're going to feel it during Friday and Saturday because why? Because the sun's in Pisces and it's very malleable. You have to know that about astrology, there's three categories. There's fixed, there's mutable, and there's cardinal. Being mutable as a Pisces, it means that you can change your clothes, you can change your house, you can move the furniture. You have an incessant need to keep things mobile. Moon and Leo, oh no, 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 no. Leave it all the way it is. It's fixed, so it's solid and it's stubborn. It's fire, Moon and Leo, and water, Sun and Pisces. So with this full moon coming, the energy's building, it could be a little edgy. Pisces, Leo, I wanna be still and quiet. Leo, are you kidding? And Leo is very blunt. So be careful Friday and Saturday, the energy's up. There's a lot of fire and there's a T-square in the heavens that's really strong and it's releasing in Scorpio. So I would say the release of this weekend, if there's some edginess or you're feeling blunt, is to move some energy. Scorpio is inviting you to be physical, to be sexual, to be athletic. Moon and Leo saying get dressed up. Take your energy and move it. Don't stay home and let this cook. Pisces always wanted to stay home. Moon and Leo says let's go out. So during this retrograde, Mercury's going to go, oh, Mercury's going direct soon. This is going to be over. On the 9th, it's going direct. But in the meantime, when it's retrograde and the moon's in fire and the sun's in water and it's a weekend and there's a T-square releasing in Scorpio, you might want to pay attention. And by the way, coming soon to our neighborhood, Saturn's entering Aquarius for the next two and a half years. We've had a two and a half year window of Saturn being in Capricorn. So everyone you know that was born with Saturn in Capricorn, that would be 88, 89, that would be, you can go all the way back to 58, 59, They've been through a really rough patch. It's going to be over soon, coming this spring. Just wanted to mention that. And the bottom note here is the suns in Pisces and moons in Leo, it's a weekend and you're supposed to have fun. Astrology Answer said, go ahead, moon in Leo. I always have to do this. Use your moon in Leo, a little bit of color, a little bit of flair. Don't stay home and get pissy. Get outside and do something. If you like this video, then be sure to join the waiting list for my online school, Applied Astrology. That's where you get to discover the basics of how to read your birth chart, how to give readings to others, your true purpose in this lifetime, and a clear roadmap to follow your path right to falling in love with you. You. Click the link in the description to join the waitlist, and I'll let you know first when the registration opens.